Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we have another one of these finished League Cup matches for you. Um, in between the last match and this one, we did have a friendly, which is what you see right here against Trump. So, um, obviously, nothing really happened. It was a zero-zero draw. Uh, yeah. So there's that. It was, you could tell it was a friendly. Let's just leave it there. Call it what it is. But anyhow, we are ready to go here. Um. Upon playing that match, actually, I kind of um, kind of came to the realization that we are quite short-handed, um, in the middle of the park of all places. So um, yeah, there's that. Um, that's something that we'll uh, that we'll uh, look to uh, rectify hopefully here in the coming days. I did take a look at a few players, try and sign a couple. But since we have such a low weekly wage budget, we are pretty much handicapped in that department. Um, we really just cannot fucking sign anyone. So, um, yeah. Or at least I should say we can't sign anyone that's really available to us that is, in fact, an upgrade. I mean, we can sign other players, but they're not upgrades to where we're already at, if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, that's that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save here before we jump into it. We got Rops, which is what I'm going to call him, here coming up. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, no, I don't think there's anything, I don't think there's anything left to do or left to, left to talk about or update you on. Um, but yeah, we could use like another defensive midfielder or just another midfielder or two all around, really. So that's really what I'm looking for right now. Um, central defenders we're okay with. I mean, obviously, like I said, an upgrade would be fan fucking tastic. But uh, if we can find one, that's a different story altogether. Um, so yeah, I should say if we can find one that we that's an upgrade of what we can afford. But. Anyhow, let's just go with that one. I'm sure it'll turn out terribly so. Ooh, look, it's nice and rainy today. Fantastic. Um, yeah. Um, however, uh, when we did play uh, against Trump, so I was actually pleasantly surprised. I thought we played pretty well. Um, they didn't have a whole lot going on for them offensively. I mean, they were kidding, pretty, pretty drab, to be honest. So, um, we really didn't have much, much trouble with them. Nah. I always hate when it hits that back. All the fucking, the back stuff back here. Freaks me out. Always looks like it went in or some shit. I'm like, what the fuck? But it didn't. Anyhow. So, um, ooh. Jesus. That was a tight angle shot that I actually got through to Monsalv. Um... Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, of course. Always a fucking header. Like, always a fucking header. I actually worked on that this week, too. In training. It was our good old fucking... Defending set pieces. But anyway, it is. Like I said, it is what it is. I'm not holding on a whole lot of hope. We're still alive in this competition. However, if we drop this match, I'm sure we're, we're done. Quite honestly, I think that'll put us out of it. Obviously, depending on how things go with my pawn, Mariam, but I'm pretty sure that'll put us out of it. Remove, uh, remove any chance, uh, remove us from any chance of having a, a successful campaign in whatever the hell this competition's called. But anyhow, like I said, it's not, it's not too big a deal to me because then we get more time off and more time to work on um, friendly. So I'm pretty sure if we, if we do. If we do advance in this, like I said, I don't know when the scheduling is. If we do advance in this competition, I would assume that uh, there's your second goal. Yeah, we're done. Uh, I would assume then that we would um, probably have to drop a friendly or two or reschedule whatever. Probably just drop them entirely so that we can then get in and, and get that. But like I said, a losing in, in here is probably a good idea. That way we can kind of uh, afford to not really rest people, but just work on our other formations and just get back up to speed. 
Because, as you can see, the other fucking clubs are just spot on. That was a defensive error right there. Should have fucking marked that better. Ramali. You motherfucker. But, um... Yeah, we are, we are, as I said, we are in kind of a fucking shitty, fucking hell. We are in kind of a shitty fucking situation because of our, um, having turned pro, a lot of players are open to signing with us. Problem is, you know, because of our, well, not really because of our reputation, but because our reputation is halfway decent, plus we play in a halfway reputable league, a lot of players are open to playing up here, at least for for the short term if they're looking for a place to play um but uh you know we just don't have the fucking finances to to fund any of those moves which is ridiculously frustrating because uh you know a little a little investment could go a long way towards getting us towards the upper end of the table especially since there's pretty some pretty good players just sitting around unemployed at present that could you know once again really help us out quite a bit really be quite an upgrade I mean I think our starting 11 is pretty good but outside of that as I've said before I'm not really you know keen on our defenders I mean they're better I think we're better as a group than we were last time last year but I mean we'll we'll see you know I mean we'll we'll see let's just fucking pass the ball thank you Christ fucking sit there and waffle around with it but, um, yeah, really don't know what else to say, but, um, like I said, ooh, fuck, what the hell was that? Why didn't Oyala go for that? Where the fuck was he going? I mean, I have to admit, like, sometimes in this game, they have some real retard moments, like, ugh, I don't know what the fuck, like, okay, like, misplacing a pass, that's okay. That doesn't bother me all that much. I mean, it fucking shit happens, you know. I mean, it happens to, the, to professional players when they, you know, or when they go up for a header and head it the wrong direction, shit like that. You know, that that I'm not... But sometimes, like, just some of the movement... Oh, Christ. What the fuck was that? You know, when they have, like, an, like... Yeah, I mean, there's just some really dumb things that happen in this game sometimes. It's really frustrating and just like players walking away from the ball when it's being passed to them and like it hitting them in the back of the fucking head and shit that's stupid to me i mean that that just i mean i don't know but i guess what i'm saying is that shit happens a little too much for me to believe it you know i mean there's just some some fucking dumb things or like no one wants to fucking play for it and in midfield which you don't really see much of if you ever watch football i mean you'll see more you know, more than one player, like, you'll see more than one player, oh, what do we want to go for, uh, I expect to see a much better performance from you, because you suck dick, Rawr. anyway, you know, what you see more of in football is you see too many players committing and not enough people, players, you know, communicating, shit like that, like, you know, three players going up for a header, and then them clatter, kind of clattering into one another, and fucking up the clearance, shit like that, you know, quite often you'll see stuff like that, but I mean, some of the, some of the, like, I guess, I guess the best way to say it is, like, ball handling errors, like, just, I mean, are just borderline retarded, I mean, seriously, and I don't mean that in any derogatory way, it's just, like, like, wow, just, holy shit, I mean, it just, it just, it looks so awkward and so unrealistic sometimes, I and mean, it's just, ugh. I don't know, it's just me bitching about something to bitch about something, because we're losing, it's pretty much what it is, but, uh, I think we'll just kind of hang on here and just let bygones be bygones. I mean, like I said, I hate to say this, but I'm kind of conceding this this tournament for a couple of reasons. Oh, Jesus. I mean, and, you, and you see a lot of that, quite honestly, in football. I mean, like... Like, it... I mean, I'm not saying, like, teams go out there and throw away the game and just not compete. But you'll see a lot of managers and be like, yeah, whatever, you know. I mean, we're going to lose in that competition. That's fine because we can focus our efforts somewhere else. But, oh, Christ, Robbie. 
It's a tough, tough angle to see. In that situation, I'd rather see him just play it across the middle, see what happens. See if anyone happens to take a run at it. Or you can just do what you guys are doing there. Just fucking shit all over the place and call it good. Oh. But they're going to have another goal there for a second, but not today. Maybe later. Maybe later, though. Fucking just run the score on us. That's something that, that it is kind of hard to do in this game sometimes. I mean, for obvious reasons, because you don't have control over anything. But, I mean, I have put up some absolutely egregious score lines in clubs before, but nothing too. Well, I shouldn't say not with any regularity. Just pass the fucking ball. You got, oh my god, you've got two fucking players there. And instead you do that. Like, what the fuck? Good God. Good fucking God. Oh my. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? Nice one too there, but honestly I can't fucking finish to save his life. I don't know if he ever will either, quite honestly. I, mean, I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna fucking... Uh, I don't even need to do it there. Oh, I should actually. Let's take that back. Yeah, I should probably go in here. Oops, no, that that's not working for us. This is most certainly a death sentence, but it doesn't really matter because we're fucking down two goals anyway. So what the hell with it. Two hell with it. It is kind of nice that you know we have some players that can. Oh my. Oh, uh, yep, of course you just decided to stop playing there for whatever fucking reason. Jesus. Anyhow. That's what we're kind of looking at. We did have... No, we didn't have any players injured in that last match either. Yeah, imagine that shit, right? So now we're going to play this little fucking thing. Um, it should be. Keyword should be. A little more offensively oriented if fucking Hinkula can just pass the fucking ball. The hell is his problem today? Holy shit. Just, you've got a fucking open player standing right there. How hard? Oh, wow. What a fucking bat. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. The shit's getting fucking ridiculous. I mean, every fucking match. Every fucking match. Or I should say, everyone that fucking matters. So friendly, we didn't have any fucking injuries, but... You know, every time it fucking matters, everybody just fucking falls over because they fucking kick the damn ball. Now, see, like I said, in challenges is usually when play where players get hurt. We've had way too many fucking players just fucking fall over from kicking the damn ball. I mean, if you seriously can't kick the ball without fucking hurting yourself, you got fucking problems. That long pass out of that corner has been good to us. Of course, we can't fucking finish it, but still, that was a good chance, too. That was a very good chance. Three clear-cut chances for us, and not a single goal to show for it. Imagine that. Oh, my. Thought you were going to get even more fucking fortunate with that fucking goal. But anyhow. See, this formation is a little more uh, compact. So it's similar to what uh, what Bayern Munich is playing on my Galway United file. Um, however, like I said, they just kind of move everything up. And it's also very similar to what these guys are playing against us right now. It's just more compact. And I was thinking, I mean, I kind of I kind of like the compactness. Although, why the fuck is Robbie that far up there? Holy shit. You're a support player. You're not meant... Oh, my lord. So, we go from having pretty good finishing to being absolutely fucking atrocious. My god. I mean, we've had we've had chances and we just can't fucking put anything past the goalkeeper. And I have a feeling that's the way it's going to be, too. I think we're going to have troubles. I think we're going to have troubles scoring. Making good on the chances we do get. 
which of course then puts even more pressure on us not conceding goals which in all likelihood is going to be a struggle yet again considering you know the the, the um, upgrade in talent that we're facing and our inability to mark anyone off the of fucking set pieces but uh, I guess it is what it is. That's something too. Like most of these players are pretty good in the air. I mean, not not super great, but by any by any stretch of the imagination. But they're all pretty decent. I mean, probably not much worse than anyone we're playing against right now. But uh, heavy first touch. See, I like how this formation kind of uh, swarms to the ball, and there's a nice, nice break. Do you see how quickly they kind of transitioned out of there? Of course, Romali's got to be intelligent with the ball here. Oh, Bachman! Holy shit! It's from way out there too. Wow. Goddamn. Once the players like it, I am I am interested to see how this formation really gets going when when the players are familiar with it and all that good stuff. Because I mean I've seen I've seen a little bit here. I like what I see. I like I like the ability. I like the uh, intent to break too. I mean it's it's very compact. It kind of swarms to the ball. I mean you kind of choke it off like like the other formation. Like I said, hopefully it's a little more stable because we have the extra defensive midfielder back there. Um. And more bodies in midfield, specifically. Um, but, and like I said, I really like, really, ooh, shit. Oh, Christ. Uh, fucking hell. Like I said, it is whatever the fuck it is anymore. I mean, it's, yeah. I'm tired of this shit. Tired of all the fucking injuries. I think that's what really irritates me the most. As we don't have very many bodies, and we just keep fucking two people injured every fucking match. And yeah, I know I bitched about this last time. We lost. But, I mean, I'm going to bitch about it some more. God damn it. But, I mean, they're just... It's just irritating. Super fucking irritating. I mean, that's really not a big fan of this... Of this tournament already. I mean, I have a feeling it's going to claim a lot of lies, if you know what I mean. Oh, Jesus. Oh, fucking Christ. Somebody just fucking tackle the ball. Just standing there fucking running up to it and not doing anything. That's something actually you don't need to check that. Are they? No. Alright. It's not to stay on the feetsies. But, uh, yeah. So, you've seen... Yeah. Like I said, this, that, that pretty much just drops us right out of this fucking competition. I didn't even check the other score, but I'm pretty fucking sure. Now I ain't gonna sympathize with that shit. I mean, fuck. I'm not too concerned now. Like I said, like, you'll, you know, you'll never admit it, but, you know, like I said. You know, most managers... We'll take like a competition like this. They're really not all that enthused to be in, and if they drop out of it, they drop out of it. You know, if they happen to have a good run and get in there and win it, great. If not, you know, like I said, we did have a pretty good win last time. This time, the fucking rules and all that shit are reversed. Let's check. Let's check. You see how fucking bad we get all the fucking yeah. Yeah, four weeks, two to three weeks. That's fucking awesome fucking great anyway i should mention though last time i uh in the last match we had two players injured was it uh, robbie and fucking what's his name anyway they didn't have any any long-standing injuries they were right back into the squad so i guess we all that shit fucking caught up with us this time so now we lost <sighs> Well, the defender, we can probably just replace like for like, and that'd be too well, off, too far off. Harala is gonna fucking suck because we just got Hananen back, and you know we just we can't fucking stay healthy for the life of us. I mean, it looks like we're destined to have fucking three players injured at any given fucking time. You know, I mean, as hoping at least Saarinen would be 
semi healthy. His little fucking spider graph makes him look shit. Looks like shit. I mean, he's fucking out for a torn calf muscle and fucking day we sign his ass. I mean, what the fuck is that shit? Anyway, while I ferment over the fucking injuries and all that good shit, you can go do whatever the hell. I don't even know what the hell I was going with that. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Bye.